What is going on guys, it is me Devil Never Cry, and I am back again with more DMC5 coverage. Considering Gamescom is now fully underway, there is a lot of new info to dive into. I would have done one massive mega info blowout video, but then I thought that would have been too cumbersome for those who wanted to just find out about specific things. So I've decided to break the videos down into sort of a mini series so it's a bit more palatable. So this video in particular is going to be focusing on the Devil Breaker system for Nero. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Oh, and please excuse the voice. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather at the moment, which, you know, bad timing and all, but what can you do? So the first and most common arm you're more likely to see in DMC5 is the Overture arm. It's the arm that Nero wears on the actual cover of the game, as well as the arm that you see Nero fighting with in the trailer. I love a nice image of it just displayed right here. And as you can see, it states that it's a user-friendly Devil Breaker with average power that can take out puny demons in just one hit. Now interestingly enough, the Devil Breakers are quite different to the Devil Bringer. Instead of each one having a universal grab function, they each seem to have their own sort of special functions whenever you press the Breaker button. For example, the Overture special move is the Battery move. Uh, you essentially fire an electric burst from the palm of the Overture and the direction changes depending on the state of the enemy. So this is the glowing electric hand you usually see, uh, that you see in the trailers, sorry. Uh, and I'll play a clip of it right here. So as you can see, it does quite a bit of damage. Uh, the attack radius is quite wide, so I'm assuming this is going to be more of a just basic crowd control arm. But moving swiftly on, we have our next arm. This is the Devil Breaker Gerbera, or Gerbera, however you want to pronounce that. As you can see from the video, it is quite intricately detailed. All the arms are quite intricately detailed considering how small they are, it's crazy. As you can see, the description states that it provides airborne movement and piercing beam attacks, and it's especially good against strong flyers. And if you're paying attention in the last trailer, aka the reveal trailer, you'll notice that this arm is the one that's responsible for Nero's air dashes. The name of the air dash move is called Jockey, and as you can see here, by pressing the breaker button, you'll release a shockwave from your palm, attacking an enemy in front of you. Though the attack can be used to negate or even reflect enemy projectiles. But if you decide to use the breaker button in conjunction with the left stick, uh, this changes the shockwave into a thrust sort of move, allowing you to thrust around and move about with the same sort of aerial maneuverability as Dante. I'll just play a clip of that for you here. And now we move on to one of the more controversial systems of the Devil Breaker, and that is the Breakage System. So the description states that charging an attack will make that attack more powerful, but the Devil Breaker you have equipped will be destroyed. Fair enough, that does make sense. You have a massive damage output at the cost of a consumable. The fair trade-off, I might add, especially considering that the Devil Breakers aren't exactly scarce. You know, from the footage I have seen, uh, there are a few for you to find. So it's not the be-all end-all if you end up breaking an arm, especially considering you can still fight and still use the snatch mechanic, uh, even if you don't have an arm. And just like each Devil Breaker has its own function when you press the breaker button, they also have their own overcharge sort of special move. For example, the overcharge special move is called the Exploder. With the overture equipped, if you press and hold B, then release after your right arm sparks with more power, you can overload the energy inside the overture and turn it into a massive bomb. You can then shove this bomb into the ground or into an enemy, and if you leave it, it'll explode after a set amount of time. Or, if you want to detonate it manually, you can use a bullet or another attack. And it's interesting to note that you can place multiple overtures at once, which essentially allows you to build up some sort of nuke. It's, it seems pretty crazy. But here's a clip of it in action. As you can see, Nero just slams it into an enemy and just pops him off with Blue Rose and away the enemy goes. But on the other hand, if you use the Gerbera or Gerbera uh, Devil Breaker, you have access to the stamen slash petal ray. Similar to the overture, all you have to do is press and hold B and release it right after your arm starts to spark with more power, though the end result is rather different. So if you use this overcharge ability whilst on the ground, you'll end up unleashing a massive 
powerful ray just like a kamehameha because apparently everything is dragon ball these days if you then decide to use it midair you'll get that nightmare type ricochet blast that we saw in earlier footage i guess the stamen ray is if you want to focus on just obliterating one enemy and the petal ray is used if you want to maximize damage to as many enemies as possible so i'm assuming that's more for crowd control situations Moving away from that overcharged mechanic, now we can discuss the breakaway mechanic of the Devil Breaker arms. So if you press the LB button, or the L1 button, um, essentially the Devil Trigger button, you can forcefully sever your Devil Breaker to generate a massive explosion. You can then use this to get out of dangerous situations, even escaping oncoming damage. Now obviously the explosion is there to provide damage, which makes sense. Again, massive damage output at the expense of a consumable. But I'm unsure about this idea of dodging attacks. Either the blast back pushes Nero out of the way of an oncoming attack, straight up provides him with invincibility frames, or the explosion is powerful enough to break through an enemy's armor and stagger them whilst they attack. I'm unsure, but either way it works for me. Then we come on to the topic of re-equipping Devil Breakers. So the next Devil Breaker in your magazine will automatically be equipped if your current arm is destroyed. However, we haven't seen anything that suggests that you can swap arms on the fly, which is kind of worrying if you ask me. It seems the only way that you can switch through arms is if the one you use is destroyed, or you decide to sever it. Who knows, I'm unsure at the moment, but that's it for now. I'd just like to add that this isn't all the Devil Breakers we'll have in the game. This is just for the demo that is playable at Gamescom. But there has been a lot of new information, which is very, very helpful in allowing us to understand how exactly this system works. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys stick around because there is a lot more DMC5 to come.